What if I told you that, according to the Urantia book, Jesus is not just a savior of our world, but the creator of an entire universe, the physical embodiment of God's love reigning over millions of worlds. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into something truly fascinating, a book that has been called mysterious, profound, and even controversial by those who've encountered it. It's not just any book, it's the Urantia book. So, what's the story behind this enigmatic text, and why has it sparked curiosity and intrigue for decades? Stick around, because in the next few minutes I'm going to break down what the Urantia book is all about. And trust me, you'll want to hear this. So, what exactly is the Urantia book? First published in 1955, this 2097-page book claims to be a revelation to our planet, Urantia which is their term for Earth. The book covers an incredibly wide range of topics, from the history of our planet to the structure of the universe, spiritual realities, and even the life of Jesus in ways you've never seen before. To some, it's a spiritual masterpiece. To others, it's a mystery wrapped in layers of cosmic lore. But no matter how you look at it, the Urantia book isn't just another religious or philosophical text. It's something truly different. The Urantia book is divided into four main parts. Let me walk you through them briefly because each part dives deep into cosmic and spiritual concepts that might just blow your mind. Part 1. The Central and Super Universes Part 1 gives us an overview of the vast universe. It describes multiple levels of reality, from local planets like Earth to distant, unimaginably vast super-universes where beings of immense wisdom and power reside. According to the book, the center of the universe is a place called Paradise, the eternal home of God. Part 2. The Local Universe Next, Part 2 zooms in a bit, focusing on the creation of the local universe, which the book claims includes our galaxy and others. It introduces us to the concept of Michael of Nebadon, a divine figure who is said to be the one responsible for the creation of this local universe. But, here's the twist. This figure is also said to be Jesus Christ. Part 3. The History of Earth Part 3 gets even more specific. It covers the history of Urantia, which is, of course, Earth. It describes everything from how our planet was formed to the evolution of life, ancient civilizations, and the spiritual influences at play throughout history. According to the book, this history is far more complex than we've ever imagined. Part 4. The Life and Teachings of Jesus Finally, Part 4 takes us into the most detailed account of the life of Jesus ever written, or so the book claims. It goes far beyond the traditional biblical accounts, offering intimate details of his early years, his travels, and his teachings. But here's the kicker. In the Urantia narrative, Jesus is much more than just a human prophet or messiah. He's presented as a divine figure with a cosmic mission. Now you might be wondering, what are the big ideas behind all these stories and cosmic history? The Urantia book presents some pretty bold concepts. Here are a few of the most intriguing ones. 1. The Fatherhood of God and the Brotherhood of Man At its core, the Urantia book preaches a message of unity and universal brotherhood. It says that God is a loving Father to all of creation, and we, as human beings, are part of a much larger cosmic family. This spiritual brotherhood transcends all divisions like race, nationality, or religion. 2. The Eternal Journey of the Soul The book suggests that human life is just the beginning of an eternal journey. After death, our souls continue to ascend through different levels of existence, growing in spiritual knowledge and wisdom. Ultimately, we are meant to reach paradise and unite with the Universal Father, which is essentially God. 3. Cosmic Citizenship Here's a thought that really stretches the imagination. 
According to the Urantia book, we're not just citizens of Earth. We are part of a grand, universal community filled with different types of beings, from angels to divine administrators. And as we progress spiritually, we gain more responsibilities in this cosmic family. So why has the Urantia book sparked so much controversy? Well, there are several reasons. First, no one really knows how this book came to be. It was published anonymously with the claim that it was channeled by celestial beings. The person or group responsible for the actual writing remains a mystery to this day. Second, its content blends spiritual, scientific, and philosophical ideas in ways that challenge traditional religious doctrines. Some people view it as a groundbreaking revelation, while others dismiss it as pseudoscience or even a hoax. But whatever your stance, you can't deny that the book touches on some of the biggest questions humanity has ever asked. Who are we? Where did we come from? And where are we going? Here's the thing. Whether you view the Urantia book as a genuine spiritual revelation or just an interesting philosophical experiment, one thing's for sure. It makes you think. It challenges you to look at the universe in new ways, to question our place in it, and to imagine realities far beyond the limits of our current understanding. And isn't that what we need sometimes? Something that makes us step back and wonder. So, what do you think? Have you heard of the Urantia book before? Does this cosmic story intrigue you? Or is it just a bit too out there? Let me know in the comments below. If you're curious and want to learn more, there are many free versions of the book available online. Take a look for yourself and see what resonates with you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more fascinating content, and I'll catch you in the next one.